let me tell you one another result okay which is actually very powerful in checking whether a particular function is uh you know so if you want to show for example a particular function is not convex not concave or not quasi concave not quasi convex you know these these this particular result can be very useful okay uh so okay so uh the result is this that if a particular function f is concave suppose f is concave then consider any subset of s okay uh, which is a convex subset of s so consider any subset of s which is also convex okay so if i restrict the function to this subset you know the function stays concave okay so uh, restricting the function so basically we are doing the opposite okay earlier we were talking about domain extension now we are kind of restricting the domain okay uh, so uh, so restricting the function to a subset okay uh, of s the function doesn't lose its property of concavity okay and this is true for i mean this actually is very simple to prove i mean you don't really need anything i it's just going to follow straight from the definition okay so restricting the function to a subset of up to a convex subset of s uh, will give us a concave function okay uh, so it's it's not that it's it's, it's just going to, it's, it's not going to be concave now it's just going to it's going to still be a concave function okay so if you just restrict its domain it will still be a concave function okay now let's quickly you know use apply this property to show that certain functions are not concave okay so like for example you know if i consider utility function which is x times y okay now if you see level curves look like this okay uh, but what can i say about this particular function is this particular function concave i mean we have seen that x to the power half y to the power half is concave remember yes or no we have seen this okay we have seen that in picture we haven't shown it yet but we have seen this in picture that this particular function is concave now this is just the square of this function what can i say about this particular function is this particular function concave so it turns out that the answer is no it is not concave so let me let me tell you how to actually show this okay that this is not concave so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to restrict myself to the 45 degree line okay because if it is if it is concave then it should be you know if i restrict myself to looking at you know uh this particular function on just this uh, 45 degree line you know it should stay concave right okay yes or no okay uh, so so basically you know if i if i if i do that you know i'm going to get something like x square right because x is equal to y so i'm going to get so this is the restriction okay u restricted do you agree u restricted will be x square yes or no okay and is x squared a concave function is x squared a concave function no it is not so if it is not a concave function then this cannot be a concave function right x times y cannot be a concave function because you know what we have what we have here is this that if f is concave then f restricted to any you know uh, a smaller domain okay then s is going to stay concave so what is the what is the uh, so this is an implication okay this is an implication so where s restricted is actually kind of a subset of uh, uh, s okay so then this is also concave okay now if i can find a set and this is true for any s restricted okay 
for any uh, you know convex subset of s okay so if i can find a subset of s where this particular function is not concave then definitely this is not concave yes or no because if f is concave then f is concave on every convex sub of s right uh, so so what i've done here is this that i'm able to find a particular subset okay of the domain where this particular function is not concave so therefore this particular function cannot be concave okay on the entire domain is that clear to everyone okay so this is actually you know i mean you can easily check using this uh, this uh, you know many functions you will be able to check whether they are not uh, concave okay i mean of course this is something that you cannot use to prove that a particular function is concave but you can use to prove that disprove that particular function is concave you know whenever it is not concave uh, this is a very useful uh, trick okay that you can use is that fine okay and this is something that i just did for concave but it's it's also true for convex so if you restrict the domain uh, for convex function the function stays convex uh, and then if you restrict the domain for a quasi concave function the function stays quasi concave and just one line proofs okay and then same holds for uh, quasi well i haven't done quasi convex yet okay so i'll, I'll talk about that okay fine uh, any questions so far no okay 